Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and it's week three of the Fabulous Fall Challenge and YouTube Hop using the collaboration kits between Dear Julie Julie and Care Brandon Creations. Today we're going to take page three of Julie's kit and combine it with page three of Kara's kit, and we're going to make something. So let's get started. Okay, well, I got a little carried away because I was watching Kara and Julie's lives yesterday and um, kind of got ahead of myself, but I cut everything out. I inked it up. I just took this piece of Julie's um, and glued it on one side of chipboard and this piece on the other, um, cut it in the shape of a tag. Um, a Kara's um, collage sheet, I took it and I just put, I lined the whole thing with uh, book page from my little book that I'm going to be using, um, <clears throat> making this journal out of. I lined the whole thing with book page, and then I just I I basically took the whole thing and used one of the pages from the book as a guide, um, so that uh, this would fold in half and it would be the same size as a book page. So you know, I just tore off um, you know the strips. Uh, from this, <laughs> um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just I just tore those off um, so that I'd have this. I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little um, double pocket here so that you know I'll put like two of these size tags inside of there. That's my idea. Um, and it'll go into the little book, you know, just like this. Um, it'll the, the rings will be on this side. Okay, so I sewed this one up, and the little tag will fit in there. The little tag will fit in there. There's a seam right down the middle. Um, I think I want to make like just a just kind of eyeballing the center here. Hopefully this will go through. Ah. Okay, doesn't look like it wants to go through. Cutting, since I've already kind of committed to doing this. This is too thick with the um, paper underneath it. All right, so I'm just gonna use that as a guide. And I'm gonna, uh, ugh, not so, I'm just gonna cut along here. Okay, so you can see this kind of tore a little bit right here when I tried to put, ugh, manhandle this into there, so. Urgh. Not my finest hour. <clears throat> Just gonna use a little bit of some washi in here. Okay. Inside so that it um, it's reinforced from both sides. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna kind of um, edge the interior of this. Um, let's see, I wanna do a little something here. All right, I was thinking maybe, let's see, I could fold this in half. Oi. This is so tiny on my hands. Um, I just going to make this into like a little ticket shape. Okay, so this will just reinforce it even more, so it'll be kind of 
cool. Okay. And maybe I'll add, I don't know, this one somewhere else. What else do I want to put on here? All right, I kind of like this guy here, maybe, or here. Oh, that one's cute there. I like that. Maybe I'll put this like there. Yeah, I like that. That looks cute. Uh, but I do need to add something to this. Huh. Okay, so the scale just isn't right for this. It's too small. So I think I might um, just cut, fussy cut these little guys out. See what that does. I don't know what all this extra fuzziness here is, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, so I don't really feel like I have enough um, from today to kind of finish off this tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my scraps and see what I have from previous days that I didn't use. And I've got this piece. I've got this owl with its head cut off, <laughs> which I'm probably going to use in a collage. Um, I've got this butterfly and I've also got this, which I think this might actually work. Uh, I might be able to do something with that. Okay, that looks more even now. All right, so yeah, that could be actually kind of cute. That could work. Maybe I'll use this. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of lace on the bottom of that. Maybe like that. Kind of like that. I'll cover those, the bottom of that with that. That would look cute. Okay. And then, all right, I want to color these up a little bit. So, okay. So I have these um, Reeves water soluble wax pastels. They're, you know, um, kind of like, um, watercolor pencils, but you know, a little bit different. Um, I want to like, I just like these colors, this crimson, it will be pretty, I think mixed with a little bit of brown. Cause I want to add a little bit of, uh, color to these, especially the caps. So I'm just going to lightly kind of you know, go in here, uh, add a little brown, add a little red. And then I'm just going to take, um, I've got just my water, distress water thingy. And I'm just going to spray it on the side here, use a little brush. I'm just going to move that around a little bit. And that just gives it a little tint. I don't know. I think it looks pretty. Um, let's see. Let's try on this one a little bit of the orange with brown. Uh, put that away. That looks very, very similar. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to add a little brown here. Let's see, I can make this a little darker maybe. Okay, so if I put this on here, it feels like it's now kind of stark, this stark red against this um, more yellow background. So I think what I need to do is find a way to like incorporate this red into this tag. And I'm just going to go, you know, lightly. Let's see. Lightly around the edges here. This would be easier if I hadn't broken the thing, huh? Oh well. Eh, it is what it is, eh? Alright. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Just a little a little something to kind of give it that that feeling. There we go. Just a little bit of that color in there. All right. And then when I ink this up, it'll just kind of add a nice little nice little patina there. Okay, and I inked up the other side already. And then when I add these little guys on top of there, they won't seem quite so dark. Okay, and actually I, I might even want to bring a little bit of um, yellow into these. And I don't really have a yellow pen, but I do have this gold pen. So I might um, just draw little circles on here. Let's see, I don't know if they're gonna show up. Very faintly, but that's okay. And a lot of times when I'm doing placement of things, I'll use a uh, my tweezers. It just makes placement a lot easier. Do I want it there? Do I want it? I think maybe here. Um, Maybe I'll do it this way instead. I kind of like it. Kind of like it that way. That hanging down on the bottom there. And then just to kind of echo this green um, grass here, I just added a little bit of green to this lace. And then I added a little tiny bit of brown just across it like that. And okay, so while I'm letting that dry, I'm um, looking at that. I don't like the way that 
board from is cut off. So I'm just thinking how I can um, cover that one little piece up. Feels like it needs more. I might just add a little bit of this um, wax around the edges of this. It just it just feels to me like it needs something else. It's a little folly. So I like to apply this dry. I just kind of go. I like the brush mark look. So I really like that. And after this, so this dries really, really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink to the edges because it really, I don't know, just the colors interacting with that wax is so pretty with the Distress Ink. I just think it looks so beautiful. Look at that. Just kind of makes it pop a little bit. Let me do the same thing on the back. All right, so that's gonna layer up like that. Gosh, I just feel like it needs something else here. I don't know what. I don't know, maybe that looks... Maybe that looks better. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I just got this at the Dollar Tree yesterday, and it's this roll of, I thought it was really pretty, this gold fall leaves. Um, I'm wondering if that would look cool over the top. Maybe just kind of adds a little something there. Okay, so I just sewed around the whole thing. Just gonna ink up these edges one more time because I want to get this, uh, the edges of this um, lace here, and then just decide what color eyelet I want here. So, see the back is that really pretty, um, this copper color. I've got gold there. So what color do I want there? Um, you know what, I think I'm just gonna do another copper one. Okay, I'm just gonna use some seam binding. And I'm gonna get enough that I can just, you know, play with it easily. And I'm gonna take the edge of this seam binding and put it through this big needle like that. Pull this through this big old needle. Okay, I'm gonna put this right through. This. All 
tighten that down. Okay, and then I'm just going to tie a little bow here. There we go. Okay, I am pretty happy with that, I must say. Okay, so I want these little um, dots that I put on here with the gold pen to, sh to show up more. So I'm gonna use um, some liquid pearls and this has been in my stash for quite a while. This one's just kind of a yellow color. It's called lemon yellow. And let's hope it is still working. Let's see. So that looks kind of cute. I mean, you know, those little good pearls probably need a little water added to them. But um, then I thought on this one I'd put, um, these are Ranger Dimensional Pearls. This is Mushroom, so it seems kind of perfect for this. I'm going to test this one first. All right. So let's see. Just try a few of them, see what happens. There we go. And let's see if these behave. These seem a little wetter. Let's see if these behave as they're supposed to and flatten out when you kind of flick them. Could be because I'm going through, through two pieces of chipboard. All right, yeah, that seems to be working a little bit better. There we go. Now they're flattening. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, this turned out kind of cute. I'm kind of happy with that. Okay, so now I have this piece and I just um, inked it up and I glued some lined paper on the back so that I could use this for journaling. And I just wanna um, take off the extra paper here. I'm gonna ink that up. Hmm, I really know what I wanna do with this one. I could add that little collage piece down the center of that. That wouldn't be bad. Let's see, here is here's the journal. So if I fold this in half, will it fit? Or do I want to make it into a page? Have it come out a little bit. Do it like that. Make it into a page like that. That would actually be cool. Make it into a page like that and then fold this up as a pocket. Let's see, that could work. I kinda like that idea. Like that. Go like that. And I'm just going to 
glue these sides up here. Um, these are my three makes for today. I have, I have a few little leftovers, this little piece from the collage, this um, stamp, which I know I'm gonna use somewhere, um, this little piece here, this teeny tiny little piece here, and this is all that's left of the collage. <laughs> um, well, actually, this and this. So I'm gonna put these in my scraps. I know I'll use them somewhere else uh, over the course of uh, this challenge. But, uh, but yeah, so this is what I made today. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for joining me for this week's fabulous fall YouTube hop. Remember to click on the link for the next video in the hop in the description box below. Each week, our creative team called the Fabulous Fawns offers new videos that provide ideas and inspiration to use the Fabulous Fall collaboration kits in your own projects. Please show them that you appreciate their efforts by watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We hope you play along. It's really not too late. Links to the collaboration kits are listed in the description box below in case you haven't gotten yours yet. Complete instructions for this challenge can also be found in the Google Docs link in the description box below. The dates for the challenge are listed above. Kara and Julie will have prizes for everyone who completes the challenge. Remember to use the hashtag JNCFall22 when posting to social media so we can find your work, give you some love, and so you are eligible for the prizes from Kara and Julie. You can also use this hashtag to search for ideas and inspiration from the fabulous Fawns and all the other challenge participants. I really hope you enjoyed my make for today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you would check out my Instagram and new Facebook group. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for joining me today. Again, this is Denise of Paper Crafty and Craft On!